If You're Not With Me, Part 2. Hello? Alex? Why are you calling? Did something happen? Uh, how? You're coming home? Something happened? What do you mean you're coming home? Uh, are you with Boris? Oh my. Oh my. Alex, 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 no, don't hang up. Uh. Was that Alex? Uh-huh. Why is he calling? He's coming home, but not alone. With Boris? I'm not sure. Uh, what's Boris have to do with this? With who, then? With Natasha. Oh. Did he oh. say that, or is it your wishful thinking again? He said that he's coming with a bride, I told you, and you didn't believe me, stupid. Why are you wearing pajamas? Go get dressed. But aren't we going to sleep? Of course I'm not going to sleep. They're already on their way. Uh, who brings their bride in the middle of the night? And put your pants on. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. He's here. Oh. Oh. Hurry up. Uh, hi, Mom. Hello. Hello, Alex. Uh, sorry for waking you up. I don't have the keys. <laughs> I want you to uh, meet Serena, my beautiful bride. Serena, this is my mom, and this is Uncle Xenia. Hello. Sorry to disturb you. That's all right. Nice to meet you. I'm Uncle Xenia. Mom, you should know that Serena's a real gypsy from a real gypsy camp. Uh, do you mind if we come in? We thought we were going to sleep in the field. The wagon broke down completely. Come in, I'll show you everything, my love. Come on. All right. Right over here. Nina, it'll be okay. What's the difference? Natasha, Zarina, it's their life. What did he say broke down? The wagon. Oh. Who is she? Who did he bring to our home? He brought a bride. Oh. Where's Natasha? At her house, I'm guessing. Uh-huh. Nina. Let's go, right now. Come to my house. You promise that's what we do. When Alex brought a bride here, that's what we agreed on. Let's just go to my place right now. No, Zenya. My son is in trouble. I'm not leaving him. <laughs> Is it a dream? I thought so too when I woke up this morning. Uh -huh. I saved you! <laughs> I'm a heroic hero! Oh, I don't think we let your mom sleep last night. Well, first of all, I did warn her we were coming. Secondly, I saved you in a frenzy of passion and with your consent, we'll have our sentence reduced for that. Uncle Zanian is an investigator. He knows everything. <laughs> Oh, I can't even imagine what is going on in the camp now. Uh. Rosa! Happened. What in the world have you done, girl? What's wrong? 
I'm sick. Yes, you're sick in the head. How could you set her up like that? You grew up together. Do you know what gypsies do for that? She deserved it. It was her fault in the first place. She's been dating him for a long time. Layash saw them. Rosa, you... You're just a fool. How can you do such things, Rosa? You must tell us who Zarina is dating. She already has a groom. What groom? The right one. The doctor. The one who brought her home. Yes, it's true. Why were you after her then? It's her fault that she has an affair with a stranger. She was with an outsider. And I'm your bride. I'm your bride by the law. Rosa, stop shaming yourself. I've told your parents everything there is to know. They know it all. We're breaking off. We're breaking off the engagement. Do you know what we should do to you for doing that? We should exile you from the camp. You brat. <laughs> well then, I'll go to my mother. Yes, go and calm her down. Take care of her. Shanita, let's go. I'll walk you home. Let's go. Listen, what's with that bastard, Zarev? Zarev? Yeah. What's to think about? We're stalling right now. We can't have business with such a man. Not anymore. But for Mir, and the debt for the horses, he'll demand for us to pay it back. Well, we've paid. A half with Landish, we'll get the second half. We'll get it. That's interesting. Where do you plan to get it? I warned a lot of you not to deal with that bastard. Perhaps it would be better to get a loan, to get one from a bank. We'd repay it in portions. If not, where would you gather such money? I'll put the word out. We'll always have time to get a loan from a bank. We've been gathering money for the wedding. Now we can put it to use. Mm -hmm. We've been waiting for this wedding for so long, and now look what we've got. It's something all right. I thought he just didn't want to rush with the wedding, and he pulled such a trick. We're doing something wrong. Even our kids stopped asking for our advice, Shanita. Mm. Here you go. Do you like it? I do. Listen, what do you say we take everything that we can buy and leave this place? So we can waste money in vain? Better yet, uh, how about we buy gifts for Grandma, Ramir, and the kids? You did steal the bride after all. That's a great idea. We'll use the ransom money. We'll buy it with the bride's money. With our ransom, I've got such an interesting life, don't I? Yeah, you're getting all this? Could you have ever imagined that you and I would be doing this together? And I need to get used to it. Ah, uh, there's nothing to get used to. You'll be just fine. It's not that. I'm worried about how your mother feels about us. You don't have to worry about her. And I can't stay away from Grandma for too long. Come on, of course we'll be visiting them, and your Grandma in particular. I know how close you both are. It was you who didn't let me in the camp. Hello, Boris. Did you bring it? All right, we're coming. All right, see you there. Thank you very much. I don't even know how to repay you. It was a lot to ask of you, man. Hello, Boris. Hello, Serena. We'll be even when you invite me to the wedding. <laughs> you got it. Are you going to drop by? Nah, I can't. I need to hurry and go back home. Natasha's called. Her granddad's worried. Well, I'd better go. You two have stuff to talk about. Goodbye. Good luck. She's an understanding girl. So what happened there, huh? Yeah, it was that bastard again. Sarev? Yeah. Well, your university is around the corner. Well, that's great, but we're gonna visit the camp. 
Alex, what are we going to do with the professor? Should we wait for you or, or what? Don't wait for me. My visiting session is over. I'll be working from home now. But don't worry, we'll communicate via Skype. I mean, do you even understand that I stole a bribe? I do. Do you? And I also understand that we're letting Markovich down. We'll have to postpone all the deadlines because well, of then, you. Well, then so be it then, man. Will the scientific value drop if we postpone it? Try and explain that to him. <sighs> okay. Frankly speaking, I need a break for a couple days. Well, to uh, deal with the car, visit the gypsy camp. Uh, do me that favor. Ask Natasha for me. You think she's not helping? It hurts me to know her situation. She rushes back home right after the studies. What kind of life so is what? that? Come on, man. It's all because of you. Uh, and she's... Well, come on. You can see it for yourself. You're not blind. Uh -huh. Boris, stop fantasizing about your childhood with Natasha. Tell her you have a crush on her already. You just walk around her. You look like a calf. You know what, Alex? What? Go to hell. Uh, Boris. <sighs> Listen to me. You gotta tell her. Natasha. Sit down. We'll have lunch together. No, thank you. I'm not hungry. You should do something. You're her father, after all. What difference does it make if I'm her father? A lot of difference. <sighs> so then... What? What can I do about it? Do you still think that it's possible to make a person to love or stop loving? Now why can't you? That way of thinking never stopped you from saying vodka can solve any problem. Zenya. We'll be completing the diagnostics soon. I'll oversee the repairs. Thank you very much, Michael. I'm in your debt. Come on. It's me who owes you. Sure. Thank you. Hey, thank you very much. Yeah. These guys here are trustworthy. They'll do the repairs well and won't charge an arm and a leg. Well, that's good to hear. And honestly, without the car, I'm completely helpless. I need to go to a few places and to the camp. Alex, you should have a proper talk with your mother. Sit down and have a serious conversation. You ran away with a bride. She's worried sick. I still fully don't understand it either. Hmm. Don't worry, I'll talk to her, all right? Yeah. And I need to collect information on that sonnet. I'm sure he isn't poor, since he's interested in horses. But what does he do? I don't know. Does Arena know? I don't think so. But I'll ask Ramir when we get to the camp, though. Who is Ramir? A gypsy baron. Mm -hmm. It's just a word. He's their senior. Well, he's the one who manages everything, and, mm. well, from what I know, he had some business with Serv. My task is clear. I'll have to keep my eye on Sarev. Mm. Thanks for that. I have to go. I'll be filling the tank. Later. It's gonna be a short talk. See you later. Hello, sir. Is someone expecting you? My party's here. Okay. <clears throat> All right, my dear gypsies. I'm giving you a fair warning. I'm not going to listen to your gypsy drama. The doll came on her own. And your son attacked me with a knife. 
I've got witnesses. I'm sure we'll find witnesses too. And to the previous attack as well. That's it, Oleg. The business is over. And I'm not giving you the second stallion. I'm through with- I don't need you or your stallions, Ramir. Give me the money back. Then you can hitch your wagon. And one more thing. There'll be no more stalling. You will bow down to me. We won't do that. We'll pay the remaining debt on time. What debt? Remaining? I don't seem to recall anybody paying me anything back. I recall giving you Landish for the debt. Is that ringing any bells? <laughs> no, listen, pal. That's not how it happened. I didn't just give you money for nothing. And you gave me Landish. But that only covers the interest. Have you forgotten? <laughs> I forgot too. But suddenly, I remembered. <laughs> That's not what we agreed. We had an agreement that I will breed two stallions for the loan. They were a gift. That's what we agreed You've to. You've grown old, Ramir. You've lost your touch. But I guess it's good that you're getting your son involved in the business. I'm happy for you. I brought you a copy of the agreement in case you've lost yours. Go ahead and check. See if there's a single word about repaying the loan with stallions. All right, gypsies. I'm sorry, but I have to get going. Good evening. I can't believe this is happening. Good evening to you, too. Where's my Alex? He and Xenia went to the mechanic. They called to say they're coming home soon. I hope you don't mind that I cooked without asking. It smells delicious. Will you have dinner or wait for Alex? Thank you, but I don't dine. I only have tea. I'll make you some. No, thank you. No, thank you. I've got my own tea. Thank you anyway. Uh, tell me, Zarina, what do you actually do? Do you study or work? Yeah. I'm training as a veterinarian. I'm in my second year. By the way, Alex and I went to the exhibition that you organized. I liked it very much. Oh, yes, I see. And do you happen to live somewhere near the university? Our camp is on the other side of the river. If you travel there by the road, they're not very close at all. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's see if I understand you correctly, since you're now going to be living here. With Alex and us, I'm assuming his work with the professor is over, right? No, actually, they agreed with Boris yesterday to keep working via Skype. Ah, uh, via Skype? Hmm. Uh. Well, so then, it turns out that we owe him everything? Can he really sue us for it? Oh, sweetheart. He could sue us, all right. He can get anything he wants from us. So what are we supposed to do now? Mm. It's all your fault, Father. How could you have trusted a verbal agreement with that man in this day and age? According to the papers, Landish never existed at all. You could have taken a receipt from him, at least. Oh, I've learned enough from this already. Where were you before? You could have come to help your father. Instead, you slacked off after your studies. I was ready to forget the road to the camp because of that wedding of yours. Don't blame me. That's what I'm saying. If only, if only you had just told me and your mother that Rosa wasn't for you. You've been friends all this time. What does she have to do with it? What does then? Zarina? She's coming home tomorrow with the doctor. I called Shanita. He's young and prideful. Oh, goodness. Please, stop it. We made it. 
Alex, do they know that we're coming? Nope. I didn't call them. Why? We won't stay very long. Are you afraid? Mm -mm. No, of course. We'll catch up. Moreover, I don't need to run away anymore. You're here. But I'm afraid to go to your family. <laughs> don't worry. Grandma will just whip you with a switch a little, but it won't be so bad. Zarina, in what sense is Ramira Baron? He's kind of a, 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 a president, a director there. Isn't that what he does? It's more like he expresses our common opinion. Actually, I think that my grandma is our real Baron, if you were to ask me. <laughs> That's what I thought. Something like Taya, you know what I mean? Uh, who's she? Natasha's grandmother? No, she's their maid. And much more. Since uh, Natasha's mom fell ill, she's become uh, almost a member of the family. And what about Natasha? I really think she likes you. My god, what is this, a conspiracy? Natasha's a friend, let's go. I still remember this place. <sighs> Hello, buddy. Hello. It's great that you've made it. Uh, mm -hmm. Professor, I have someone to introduce. Please welcome my beautiful bride, Serena. She's, she's happy to be here. Good afternoon. I'll go ahead and make some tea. <sighs> Good afternoon, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Georgi Markovich. Nice to Please, meet you. Please, young people, sit down over here. <laughs> oh, Natasha. Natasha, I want you to meet Zarina. Sorry, I'm a bit busy right now. Natasha, Taya promised to make us some tea. Accelerate the process, will you? <sighs> Well, all right. The young couple. Let's discuss our woeful business. Natasha do this, Natasha do that. All I am is their servant. Taya, will you bring them tea? Is something wrong? Uh, yeah, sure, I will. Uh, don't you know where your father is? I think he went to some farm. All right, take it. I can't believe him. He came without an invitation. Uh, wait, when is he coming back, you say? I didn't say when he was coming back. What's the difference? I don't know. Oh, my goodness. I sure hope another tragedy doesn't befall us. Ah. Thank you. Here's the tea. Thank you, Taya. All right, guys, let's wrap it up. Let me help you. Is everything clear? Yeah, then I'll take this one here. I'll go get some gingerbread. So you're studying to be a veterinarian, are you? Yes. Why not a doctor instead? We raise horses at camp. I've been living with horses since I was a little girl. I see, I see very well. <laughs> I'm sorry to drop by so suddenly. Come on, it's fine. <sighs> All right then, you and Boris. We'll arrange the rest of the finished materials, and I'll try to decipher the rest. Yeah, it'll be quicker. Mm -hmm. Will you help me? Sure, why not? <laughs> oh, well, if Zarina's helping you, I don't have anything to worry about. <laughs> Natasha, where's Taya with the gingerbread? I don't know. Natasha, have some tea with us. I need to go hang the laundry. <sighs> Natasha, are they leaving now? Why don't you ask them? Uh, Taya, Natasha, we're out of here. I hope you don't mind. I'm taking this folder with me. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have a safe trip. Have a safe trip. Listen, didn't Dad tell you when he would be back? He didn't tell me anything. I don't know what you want from me. Wake up! 
up, mister. We're coming to your stop. We've arrived. Anyone who needs to get off, this is your stop. Come on. Come on. Oh, such a gentleman. Nobody helps anymore. Thank you. No problem. Masha. 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 Take these. All right, this is for Mira, and this one's for Grandma. Uh, I knew I'd mix them up. Uh, Put it down for now. I'm all right. Okay. Hello, Grandma. Uh, may peace be with your home. We came to ask for forgiveness. <laughs> uh, we're asking for forgiveness for breaking all the unwritten laws of the camp, that's all. And, uh, uh, well, the blame's on me. It all went by so fast, I'm sorry it happened. This is a gift for you. <laughs> I'll... I'll deal with that scumbag later. You can just be... All right. Grandmother Sunita. I want to formally ask for your granddaughter's hand in marriage. Hold on, Alex. Forgive us. I'm truly sorry. Yeah, we're sorry. Mm. Oh, what would I do with you rascals? What am I going to do? Oh, all right, it's all right. Oh, go to Ramir. Anyone will show you where he lives. And please ask him for forgiveness. When you get there, he will be the one to tell you what you should do next. Go on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go on, go on. What in the world is this? What are you wearing? What happened to your clothes? Alex bought it for me. Alex bought it for you? Get in the house. Come on. You're supposed to be the beauty of our family. My God. How terrible. This is terrible. What do we do now? What are we supposed to do now? Away with our arms crossed? <laughs> Nina, what are you so worried for? Come on, there's no reason to worry. How can you say that there's no reason to worry? Some goon is threatening Alex and you say there's no reason to worry? Do you even understand the situation? Hold on a moment. Who do you think is threatening him? A gypsy called. He's looking for her. He'll realize that she lives here and he'll kill Alex. It'll be over. Stop. Over. Over. Stop. Calm down. Zinya, let's hire a killer. What are you talking about, Nina? Risking his life for some gypsy girl? What could I be thinking? What could you be thinking? He's gone mad, and the worst part is that I can't help him. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Alex asked me to find out about that Sarev character. Nina. <laughs> I found out what I could and told you like an idiot. I'm sorry that I told you. I shouldn't have said it. What else are you hiding from me? I can't listen to you anymore. Keep your composure, will you? Come on, Nina. That's it. Running away? I'm heading to my place. Call me when you've calmed down. Oh, great. Thank you for the help. <laughs> Zarina, take this. Take this herb. It's special. Okay? For Alex's mother. It will be good for her. Mm hmm Sure, Grandma. But the only thing she drinks is her special tea. <sighs> All right, then. Tell me about her. She is worried. She didn't know about us being together, either. Ay, 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 ay. What have you done, Zarina? What have you done, Zarina? 
You young people think that you know better than we do. Hmm. And now we have to fix it. You came back like nothing happened in the middle of the night, and you wanted people to jump from the joy of seeing you again. Our family camp is one thing. Mm-hmm. But in the city, the two of you have nothing but yourselves. That's not true. They have a big apartment. Wait, Grandma. Tell me, why do other people not like gypsies? <laughs> oh, dear, forgive our sins. We are sinners. This is the redemption for the freedom that we used to have. And now that's all gone. Oh, Alex, take this. Grandma Shanita, why so much? Well, I don't know what you can buy in your shops outside of camp. Just take it. We don't have enough space. Are you not strong enough? <sighs> Fine, I'll take it. You'll put it in there. Oh, Ramir. All right, you've packed? <sighs> yeah, I did. I'm taking half of the cellar with me. Should I get some other people to help us? No, I'll be just fine. Mm, hello, Zarina. Hello, Uncle Ramir. Forgive us, please. We've already had a talk with your doctor. We're waiting for your parents for next weekend. Have you applied to the registry? <sighs> we'll apply at the registry office tomorrow. This is up to you, Alex. Yeah. The main thing is that there are in-laws. There can be no wedding without them. Serena, tell him everything all right. Show him how it's done. You hear me? Uh, yes, Grandma. Uh, let's go. Uh, goodbye to you all. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, stay See safe. you later. Bye, yeah. Bye Grandma. Be safe. Be safe. Nice bracelet. Where did you get this from, huh? Grandma gave it to me. I'll tell you later. Uh... Ay, 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 Here, the cabbage, my son. <laughs> Grandma <laughs> Zunita. Uh... Serena, can you move Georgie Morkovich's files, please? What was that name? It sounds familiar. Uh, yeah, he's someone I know. Uh, yeah, I know him, Georgie uh, Markovich. Why? He's he's my professor. Do you know him or something? No, I don't know him. Take care of her. Travel safely. Uh, thank you. We will. This is Natasha. Could you please tell me whether my dad dropped by today or not? No. Thank you, anyway. He wasn't at Seaman's house, either. Oh, I don't like this. It's getting late. Where could he be? It's so late. Taya, I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, stop. Why hasn't he shown up? What a moocher. He just sucks my whole soul out. It turns out he left the farm and went missing. Well? No one saw him. Natasha, get ready. I've arranged it with the neighbor. We'll go to the bus station and to the market. Perhaps he was there. Excuse me, Georgie. Natasha and I are leaving now. While we're away, call the hospital in the morning. Uh, we'll call the police in the morning. There's no need. What kind of man is that? What kind of man is that? He brings nothing but problems. Boris, let's go. <sighs> Gotta go. Zena! Zena, what's wrong? Mind if I take a look at it? Uh, no, I don't mind. I... Well, this is the medical case proving Markovich's conclusions. His name is Ivan Kozelski. This man was born in 1942. 
had partial memory loss and was delivered by ambulance. Did you read that just now? Yeah, why? Markovich's scribble is impossible to understand. I've been dawdling with this extract for half an hour. <laughs> Serena, you're great. <laughs> well, let me help you then. Well, sure. Take a look at this one, too. Here, read that. Her name was Polina Mukina. Uh-huh. She was born in 1996. Complete memory loss. Alex, can you come here for a second? Uh, yeah, Mom. Can you believe it, Mom? Serena can understand this chicken scratch. Alex, what's the story behind the man who's been following Serena around? Why didn't I know anything about it? Well, why would you? This is our business. I don't even understand why Uncle Xenia told you about it. What do you mean, why? What are these secrets from your own mother? Someone is stalking you and I don't have the right to know about it? Mom, don't worry. No one's stalking me. Don't lie to me. Xenia told me everything. Don't you understand that this goon is seeking revenge? Mom, what you're saying is nonsense. Uncle Zinya couldn't have said that. That's right. Mm -hmm. He didn't. But I understand what's going on. Uh, I'm not an idiot. All right, Mom. Please calm down. We love you very much, and we don't want you to worry. Just forget the whole story. By the way, don't plan anything for the weekend. We have something, all right? We're going to the gypsy camp to ask for a marriage. What do you mean, Alex? Well, that's exactly what I mean. When is Uncle Xenia coming back? I don't know when he's coming back. <sighs> and I'm not going to some gypsy camp. Mother! <sighs> Hello, Boris. What is it? C come on. Yeah, no, what? Huh? Yeah, I see. Yeah. Uh, Mom, Uncle Nick, Natasha's dad just got hit by a car. They just found him. No way. Well, that's what they said. How could that have possibly happened? Come on, stop drawing conclusions, Mom. <sighs> oh. Dad? 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 Natasha. Dad? It'll be okay. <gasps> Careful. <gasps> Dad. Daddy. Natasha, let them take him. They'll take it from here. It'll be okay. Uh, yeah, I see. Uh, well, thank God. <laughs> All right. Uh, please uh, do me a favor. Tell him we say hi. From me and my mom. We hope he uh, gets well soon. And uh, don't forget to turn on Skype in the evening. Yeah, Boris, we won't forget. Serena and I will throw ourselves into deciphering. That's right. <laughs> All right, bye. How bad is it? Oh, he has bruises. A fracture and slight hypothermia. Nothing too serious. Oh, thank goodness. Poor Natasha. <sighs> we should go and visit her. Uh, we're going to the camp on the weekend, Mother. We'll drop by Natasha's on our way there. Warn Uncle Zenya, please. Uh, Alex. Are you kidding me? What's this Mom. about asking for marriage? Mom, this is a tradition for them. Just to get acquainted. It's a formality, you know? No, I don't know. I'm not going anywhere. Shh. I'm not going anywhere. This is ridiculous. And stop rocking on that chair. Oh. Mom. Mom, but we decided to get married. We need to. Really? That's great. You're the one who decided to get married, not me. Were you planning on asking me? You didn't. Therefore, I'm not going to participate in this circus, and Uncle Zinya has no business there either. Just leave uh, me alone and Mom. stop rocking the chair. I'm going to meet the Americans. Mom. We're done talking, Alex. Oh. <laughs> 
I told you so. Why are you lying there? I'm just picking up my sandwich. Rocked himself to it. Father, you scared us so much. Oh. How are you feeling? Uh, it's fine. No, daughter, it really is. I brought you some flowers. I'm putting them here. You can tell them that I'll spend the rest of my day at home, all right? Tell them that. No. You'll be here for as long as the doctor says. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes, go ahead. Well then, Nick, I've brought cheese pancakes. Mm. Cutlets for the dinner. Kefir, tapioca. Taya, I saw Masha, you know. What? I saw Masha. <laughs> you must have hallucinated. What I are did, you I saw her. about? Where did you see her then? Really? Are you sure it was her? Do you think that I wouldn't know my own daughter? Do you? Listen, Nick. And listen well. Mm. Perhaps you should stay here for a while. Out of harm's way. Hi, Mom. Hello, son. Did you get together with the Americans? Yes, I did. Uh, isn't Zinya home yet? No, I called him. He's going to be very late today. Oh. Uh. We're, we're only waiting for you. For me? Yeah. Mmm. What are we celebrating? Mom. The thing is, Zarina and I have applied to the registry office. Here. It's beautiful, isn't it? My congratulations. I'm very happy for you. Thank you, Mom. Why didn't you ever warn me that choosing a ring is such torture? Guys, uh, why are you rushing this? Well, we've chosen the date of the wedding already, and we had to apply today to make it on time. Oh, oh I see. Actually, the reason we're doing it is more for my grandmother. It's just that the wedding is the most important celebration for gypsies. Cheers. Cheers. That's right. It's us who easily get together. One day there's love and then there's hate. Mother. What, Alex? Alex, I would like to say that you've chosen a decent replacement for all the scientific work you used to do. Yeah. Is it Zenya? Uh, it's from work. Yes, I'm in Moscow. Uh, yeah, I see. I'll be waiting. What happened? Uh, there's an emergency. There was an earthquake. There are not enough doctors and the flight's in three hours. Will you help me pack? Sure, love. As for mom? Nobody needs mom. Hello, love. I've been missing you terribly. Are you on your break? No, I didn't go to class today. <sighs> Why are you skipping class now? The only thing we have for today is lectures. I'll get the notes from someone else. Let's talk about you. Are you coming back soon? Well, it should be soon now. The situation seems okay, although there are a few victims that I just can't abandon right now. Alex, I miss you so much. Well, I'll be back soon. How is everybody? How's mom and Uncle Zane? Your mom's home. I'm going to give her the phone. Hello? Hello? Hello, Alex? Oh, you're breaking up. Yeah, the connection's bad here. Uh, are you getting along with her? Yeah, yeah, everything's fine. I'm going to pass the phone to her now. Hello? Honey? Why do you want to go to Dacha so badly? Yeah. Golden autumn. Mm -hmm. The season of our last days, moreover. 
Also, Alex's laurels have been nagging at me. Mm. He seems different. Really? That's right. <laughs> Good morning. Alex just called. He's doing okay. Why didn't you give me the phone? Don't you think I'm important? Well, the call kept breaking up. He has bad reception. Alex says there's no network at all sometimes. Is that true for you? Or just for me? Doesn't he care about what I feel? Doesn't he worry about me? It's just the connection died. I wanted to. She always goes crazy when Alex is on a road trip. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. I understand. She's, she's just worried. Are you going somewhere? We're going to get some fresh air. And you'll have some rest. We'll be back by tomorrow evening. Give it to me! I said give it back! Natasha, Taya, take the stick from him! Oh, not again. This is a three-ring circus, not a house. Give it, give it! Come on, hand it over. I said give it back, you beast. <laughs> Grandpa, will you come see Dad with us? There's no use in that, and it won't make him feel any better. Yeah, yeah, you go run away. Go run away. Ugh. We'd better sit down with Boris and take a look at what we deciphered yesterday. All right. So you're not going to the hospital to see Nick? No, I already told you that I'm not. Stop asking me about that drunk. He wouldn't be there had he been uh, sober. You're also to blame. You know that, right? All right, tell me how I owe the gypsies. By the way, where's the one that was with Alex? The pretty one. She's with him in Moscow. Listen, listen to no, me. No, no. I don't want to hear another word about it. Go get the dog inside. I don't have time for that right now. I'm going now to visit your son. How long will he be there? I hope he's going to be back soon. Yeah, bring a doctor. That's a hell of a job. But he's saving people. I think that's worth waiting around for. So come on, tell me then. Is there any news? Everything's as it was. The time passes slowly in the camp, not like in the city. You know that. Actually, I can't stay for too long. I need to go pick up my dad. Is Ramir here on business? We came and applied for a loan. Is it all that bad? It's not that bad. Unless they don't give us the loan, we need the money. Oh, gosh. It's all because of me. No. What are you talking about? It's Zarev. He tricked us. With those papers he had, he fooled us all. Tricked how? We've given Landish to him for the debt, but there was never a written agreement for it. Now he demands us to return the debt, and it turns out that we've just given Landish to him as a present. So what now? Are we... Still selling horses? No. Is it the end of the farm? Forget it. First, we'll have to wait for the bank's response on the loan. <sighs> Poor Landish. Calm down. We will try to get your Landish back. I forgot the phone, and I'm expecting a call. I'm so forgetful. Oh. Nina, let me introduce you to Laosh from the camp. He came to visit me. He's a lifelong friend. Hello there. I just... forgot my phone. Here it is. <laughs> All right, I'm off. Zinya's waiting for me. Goodbye. 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 That, that was very uncomfortable. Is something wrong? Will she think there's something between us? No, it's just that... I don't know. Is it bad for you here? Let's go home right now. I can't do that. I'll wait for Alex, otherwise he'll be hurt. Are you happy? Yeah. Very much. I love Alex. And he loves me back. And nothing else matters but love. Well, all right. Will you see me off? Of course.
Well, that's it. The doctor says they're letting you out in a week. They could have done it a week ago. I'm just sitting here, wasting my life away. I'm rotting in here, you know. Hush, Dad. You were only here for a week. It's not I'm that I'm not bad. going back home. Dad. I'm not going back home. Goodness me. What are you talking about? I only lived in that goddamn house because of you, and I was a terrible father. But now this is it. My daughter's grown. She doesn't need me. She isn't the fragile girl I knew. Those days are over now. She's all grown up. How can you say such things? Yes, I've grown up, but... <sighs> Taya, what are we going to do? Where is he going to go? He has nowhere to go. Actually, he's a grown man. He has the right to choose where to live. He's gone completely insane. I'll talk to the doctor. <laughs> You're talking like your grandfather. The man doesn't want to live like you want him to. Does that give you the right to call him crazy? I'm just worried sick about him. Head home. I have somewhere I need to be. I will see you back at the house later. Hmm. Where? Where are you going, Taya? Stop the car, please! Stop the car right now! Senya, I'm sorry, but I want to go back to the house. Please, my nerves are shot. Let's go back right now. Nina. But we're almost there. What are you two? Oh, I can't do it, Zinya. I merely stepped out of the house and she already brought someone over. Nina, you can't think the worst of her. Why do you see bad things straight away? Leave the girl alone already. Alex wouldn't just bring someone oh, shady to our... But he did do that. First they threatened him because of her. Then she brings some gypsy home whom we don't even know. You haven't seen him, but I have. He's got mean eyes. All right, let's head back. You see, for as long as I can remember, he never got along with Grandad. They used to take turns telling each other to go away, but it was never serious. And now, for the first time, I felt that he was serious. Well, Natasha, no offense, but... It's obvious that Uncle Nick feels uncomfortable at home. I don't know whether it's because of your grandpa or... Or because of me. Why would you bother him? Perhaps there's just something that you don't know. Something that happened a long time ago. Maybe that's it. I don't want him to leave. What if it was for the better? Better like when Alex went away? Natasha, but... Natasha, wait. What? Nobody needs me to be here, Boris. I need you, Natasha. I love you. And you know that it's true. I just had to tell you. If you think I'm out of place, then I can leave. Yeah, right, leave. Why is that everyone's answer? Don't you dare leave. <sighs> Shanita, Shanita. Hey, Shanita, are you home? Oh my heavens, what is it? Oh, what? Did something happen? Did something Oof. happen to Zanita? No, not yet. But it will happen. Are you coming? No, thanks. I've had enough for today. Mm. Going home again? I don't know yet. I see. Good evening. Hi, how are you? Oh. Did something happen here? They robbed it. Someone robbed the 75th flat. They stole everything. They took it all in broad daylight. And they knew there was nobody home. We saw them leave. We just saw it happen. Oh, oh.
Serena! Serena, are you home? Yes? Senya, this is a nightmare. I knew this would happen. I had a bad feeling about this. Somebody robbed apartment 75 in broad daylight. This means there was a tip-off. They knew there would be nobody home. So what? What do you mean? Don't you understand? A gypsy came to visit her in the morning, and a neighbor gets robbed in the afternoon and in broad daylight? Nina, come on. Stop being melodramatic. She's absolutely not in on it. You'll feel ashamed when they find the culprits. Nina. I'll call you back. Uh, <laughs> eavesdropping is bad. I didn't want to. Mother Nina, I've decided to visit my grandmother. As you wish. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think it would be for the better. Yeah, perhaps. Just bear in mind, it's not that I'm kicking you out. Uh, and it would be better if Alex doesn't know about it. He's not on vacation there. Of course not, and I wasn't going to. When are you leaving? In the morning. I'll just take the laptop. He told me I could. It isn't mine. Do whatever you want. Excuse me. <sighs> oh, damn it. My son, are you awake? The neighbors are saying that Rosa is going to leave the camp. Where are you going? I'll go to my sister first, and then we'll see. My parents are coming back very soon. It's better if I leave. Don't leave. Why not? It's not like you love me. You won't change anything by leaving. And it would be difficult to come back afterwards. I would know. I'm in here. Everybody's still asleep. I specifically called you so I wouldn't wake anyone up but you. So, as you can see, I put this folder here so that you can see what I've been specifically working on this whole time. And then you have repetition somehow. And also this. Hold on, have you... Have you deciphered it all? Yeah. Alex checked me to this page. I did the rest of it by myself, so take a careful look at it. That's impossible. <laughs> I'm shocked. We're going to make it now, Serena. I'm glad. Well, I'd better be going. Grandma's waiting for me. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Natasha. Take a look at this. Natasha, this is great. You... Why did you take this bracelet? It's mine. Did you fiddle with our things? Boris, look who you let into our house. Come on now, calm down. Take the bracelet off. Uh, My mother gave give it, it me. back. Get away from me. Natasha, it's all right, okay? Where are you going?
I'm sorry. Forgive me. to go. You must have gotten wet while running over here. Go home and warm up. Thank you. It's really chilly. Which one is yours? This one. See, the ring is broken here. I accidentally hooked it when I was a kid. Grandma was so worried, she even cried. Look, your hand is as thin as mine. And your little finger? yours. Grandma told me that I dislocated the joint when I was a little girl. No, you didn't, Zarina. You know what? Let's go. Where to? To the person who knows the answers to all of our questions. Father, please wake up. Mm. 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 No, Natasha. Uh, what time is it? Uh, have I slept through the rounds? Uh. <clears throat> Masha. Good morning, sir. But I'm not Masha, I'm her daughter. It's just people say I look a lot like her. You're her daughter? What do you mean, Hamasha had no children? I was born right before she and my dad died. I am her daughter. Did you happen to know my mother? Me? Of course I did. Of course. I loved your mom. The spitting image of her. Here. Yeah. I gave it to her. When she was going away, she left me the second half as a memento. This one. And here's the other half. Dad, I pried open your drawer, and there was a letter. Is it hers? Yes, it's her letter. What's your name? Zarina. 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 Zarina, hold on, wait a second. So then you are, you're Alex's? Then you're Alex's? You're his bride? Yeah. Huh, holy crap, wow. Wow, that's, that's incredible. Zarina, did, did you grow up in the camp? Yeah. It's so close and I, I didn't even know. Why didn't anyone tell me? It's cruel, I could have seen you and helped you, but they didn't tell me. I, I don't understand why. And my mother, did she love you?
Yeah. And there, in the letter, it says that. She met someone, another person, and that, and that she's leaving to be with him forever. Yeah. And that I shouldn't, I shouldn't search for her. <laughs> Natasha, Natasha. <laughs> and what about right, my huh? mom, then? Tell me. Anya? Anya was pure and fair, she was. And everything was drawn to her light. And I really <laughs> loved her, I did. But Masha, Masha. Oh, Masha is like, she's like a bolt, a bolt from the blue for her. <laughs> I would give everything up. <laughs> and now you, you're the only, you're the only thing that I have left now, you know? Uh, no, Dad, not the only thing. You're not alone. What do you mean? What is it? Well, how do you call it again? You said it's called autosomal dominant inheritance, a gene mutation passed from parents to a child. You and Grandpa told me about it. No way. It's impossible. Natasha, finally. Where have you been? Where are you now? I'm fine. I'm at a nearby hospital right now. At a hospital? I can't talk now. It's not the right time. Can I go there with you? Where? <laughs> what do you mean? To the camp. Dad, what camp? Complete your treatment first. Hello? Yes, Dad's acting crazy as usual. Why is he going to the camp? Natasha, what's going on? Moria! Where are you? This is genius. Uh -huh. <laughs> Moria, Moria, this is genius. This is amazing work. <laughs> all right, all right, Georgie, hold on. No, 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 I'm not going home now. All right, we'll talk later. <sighs> How did she manage to do it on time? <laughs> amazing, it's just genius, absolutely genius. Georgie, would you happen to know how to get to the camp? <laughs> no, I don't. Why would I? Why do you ask? Uh, Zarina forgot something. I wanted to take it there. You'd have to ask Taya. Taya! Taya, you there? Where's everyone today? Hello, my dear Georgie. Hello, dear. How are you? How's your health? How's everything? Hello, thank you. I'm doing all right. Thank you very much for asking. How's Alex doing? Is he going to come back soon? I have no idea, Georgie. Uh, forgive his absence, for goodness sake. I've been yelling at him a lot. He'll get more where that came from when he gets back. Oh, come on. He didn't go there to get a vacation. No. I don't mean the road trip. He left you and let you down. I'm not okay with that. Your Alex is a slacker, sure. But he's a heaven-born surgeon. And he picked a right girl. A careful one. What? What do you mean? Well, all her notes are on point. Tell her to drop her veterinarian studies and transfer to the doctor's department. Tell her I'll take care of it. She did the most painstaking part of the work. Excuse me? I don't understand. What work is that? Oh, haven't you heard? <laughs> she deciphered all of my scribbles. Really? She brought it to me in the morning. Thank her for me when you get the chance. Would you be so kind? When Alex calls, tell him I say hello. Okay. I'll tell him everything as soon as he gets home. I wish you all the best. Stay safe. Who called? Whoa, 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 What's wrong? Did something happen? No, it's nothing. I took control over your neighbor's robbery case. I'm in charge. I just got a call, a lead. So what? The thief, a guy that lives in the opposite building. He, he hid it all in the garage. And you thought it was Arena. That's not right. You should say sorry.
Grandmother. Grandmother. How come? I couldn't, my dear. I couldn't. <sighs> Taya? You're here. Did you know? I did, I did. You came from the hospital? Yes. So then, you saw your father? I did, Grandma. How is he? He's fine. He's planning on moving here soon. Uh, why didn't you tell me about my father before we could have seen each other? How? How could I? How could I tell you about him? He would take you from me through his civil court. He was a man of solid character. He didn't drink. And I... Oh, who am I? Just a gypsy. Just a gypsy, that's it. Yeah, I understand, Grandma. I really do. Forgive me. Girls, forgive us for goodness sake. Please forgive us. Forgive us. <sighs> but why did you tell me some crazy story about another dad? That he and my mother died in a terrible car crash. Oh, what could I do? Tell him the truth? That my daughter got together with a man that was already married? That she broke up with him later? And left pregnant? I couldn't. They kick us out of the house. So Masha and I decided to leave to leave far away after she gave birth. And we told everyone that your father passed away. Uh, she lived in my old house. And Dad didn't know anything. So then there was no accident? No, there wasn't. Your mother gave birth to you and died. My head is going to explode because of all this. Grandma. I still don't understand why she left our father. If there was no other man, and she was pregnant as well. Well, that's clear. Nick had a wife already. Your mother fell ill. Because of grief, that was a question of life and death. Masha left pregnant and told Nick that she left him for another man to not hurt him that much. No. My mom's tumor started to grow when she was pregnant with me. It has nothing to do with stress. Who said she fell ill out of grief? Who would it be? Grandpa? <sighs> Escaped the hospital, did you? Don't they serve drinks there? Everybody's out of the house. They're in the camp. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <sighs> Boris went to bring something to Alex's girlfriend. What's her name? I keep forgetting what it is. Zarina. Ah, uh, you don't say. She saved my research and did it so quickly. It's amazing how a stranger can come in and read my scribbles. She's not exactly a stranger. She's my daughter, and Masha's. What was that? I'm saying she's my daughter. They covered that. Masha gave birth, and I was thinking, but why, 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 but why? Why did she leave? And now I get it, you. 
You told her that Anya fell ill. That she fell ill out of grief because of me, right? That she would get well if I returned to the family. Isn't that it? Why are you so quiet? You're really quiet right now, aren't you? Masha. Naive enough to believe you, like a child. You lied to a child. What have you done, old man? Oh, God. Oh, God. No Masha, no Anya, none of them. <coughs> Nina! Yeah? Nina! Alex is calling! Coming! Hello, hello, hello! Hi, dear! Hey, Mom, is Serena near you? No, why? Well, I'm arriving tomorrow, but don't tell her anything. I want it to be a surprise. Tomorrow? How come? <laughs> yeah, Bob, tomorrow, tomorrow. I know that you're not overly enthusiastic about us, but I really love her. And I love you, too. I love you all very much. You know I do. All right. Well, it looks like I should be getting ready now. Uh, thankfully, I'm arriving tomorrow, but please don't tell Serena under any circumstances. Bye, Mom. Hey, Nina. What's going on? What have I done? Senya, what have I done? He is coming tomorrow, but Zarina isn't here anymore, but it's not my fault. And he'll say that I was the one who made her leave. He'll never forgive me for it, Zinya! Oh, oh my God, Zinya, he'll stop never forgive me! Will you stop being so dramatic? by Masha's soul went to heaven at dawn. I went over to collect John's wart and heard somebody moan. It was my Masha dying. Her contractions came earlier than we thought. She was afraid. She ran to me crying. I had to deliver you, but I just... I, I couldn't save my daughter. I didn't manage to stop the bleeding. <sighs> not in time. Ramir and I agreed not to tell anyone. We couldn't tell a soul, not even family. Well, now you understand why people now call it, and we'll keep calling it, Masha's Glade. Grandmother, I used to come here secretly to collect strawberries. Now I totally understand why you used to come here every day on your own. And you told me that you had to gather virtuous mm. herbs alone. Mm. That's it. Now you just need to sleep. Why did you stop being a doctor, you good-for-nothing fool? It was thanks to your prayers. Why did you rescue the father who hates you? You could have just let me die, and that would be the end of that. Yeah, I guess. But you would say that I was the one who put you down then, when you get to heaven, right? Yeah, you would have loved that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Do you think it was easy for me? No, Dad, I don't. Well, it wasn't. I'm not talking about Anya. I'm talking about the daughter you didn't tell me about. I just... Whenever I remember Anya, she's there too. Like a shadow. I just don't remember the face. Look at Zarina, they're the same. Do they look alike? Like two peas. <laughs> and Natasha, she took after you. Too bad for her. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're here. Yeah, it seems so. Just don't tell them that I fell ill. They'll go overboard. I'm too exhausted to hear their worries. Do me that favor, son. All right, then. I will take the blame for you. Sleep, old fool. Thank you, you drunkard. Uh, uh, <coughs> Uh, thank you very much. Uh, afternoon. Good afternoon. Mom, how are you? Hello. Hello. Is Serena sleeping? No, she's not here. What do you mean? Where is she? She's in the camp. Why is she in the camp, Mom? Did you have a fight? No. Oh, Alex. Hello. Uh, hi, Uncle Zinya. Mom. Nina, stop beating around the bush. Serena is back at the camp, okay? She ended up leaving yesterday. Hold on, I called her yesterday. She never said she was going to the camp. Wait here. <gasps> That's right. She needs to keep you waiting for a while. The parents must give their consent. Or are you going to ask for a hand with the bride there? Yeah, that's not by the rules. I consulted Serena's grandmother and the internet. I mean, on the internet. Mm, here. Mm. Uh, Mom, what is this? A gift. The... The symbol of prosperity. And you need to learn this. By heart. Health, happiness, and prosperity. To spend the rest of his days with her. Be courteous, understanding, and loving. Ah, I see. You got a little bit crazier while yeah, I was away. Alex, it turns out it's not that easy. And you've got just a few words. <laughs> if only you knew what I have left to memorize. Enough talking. Here's the address. Go there in an hour and pick up the loaf. Mm. And take it there while it's still warm. <laughs> what loaf? Take it where? What do you mean? To, to the, the camp. camp. Are you going to ask for a hand without a loaf? All right. Now we begin. Let's talk about business. We came to this fine man. May God send him health and prosperity with our boy. We came with a proposal. Will you, my dear sir, give your permission and your blessing for your daughter's hand in marriage to this fine fellow here? Health and prosperity to you too. Hmm? Oh, I've just been advised to ask. Don't you want to take a look at my daughter? God knows what I've got there, right? Well then, of course. Huh. Will you let us see your daughter, if you would be so kind? We could do that, yes. <laughs> I took a course in Russian folklore in my first year. This is a lot like Russian rituals. I did too. Natasha, will you marry me? <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, you weren't wrong. Your daughter is great. What do you want for her? Oh, my goodness. I was just wondering where the wealth will come from. <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, well, money's not a problem, as far as I can tell, of course. So I'd like to clarify a few questions I have about your son now. No military service or any involvement with the courts. No inappropriate ties to anybody. Doesn't drink or smoke. A doctor. We've got nothing to hide. I want to ask your son about something. Alex, won't you tell me? Why do you need my daughter? Oh, uh, well... To live our life together, as they say. In happiness, health, and prosperity, as they say. Bhaktumanga Sestaban. Ah, you are my angel. <laughs> <laughs> well then. <laughs> Will you let the children break bread now? Oh, sure. Why wouldn't I? Perhaps you should ask your daughter, hmm? Oh, all right, I will. Tell me, Zarina, do you like this boy or not? I do, very much so. Very well spoken. Let's break bread oh, now. Yes, let's do that. Hey, all right. Da, 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 Uh, that's breaking bread, huh? Hey, Natasha, I failed to bargain this time, but I'll cash in on your wedding. Yeah, I know that. Uh, you just try it. <laughs> when are you going home? I think that I'll go now. Oh, thanks. Time to give Grandpa a jab. Mm -hmm. Was good. <laughs> Here, won't you take some, Thank please? You. <laughs> oh, well, is your apartment big? Will there be enough room? Uh, well, you'll come and see for uh, yourself. All right. <laughs> Although, Zinya wants us to move to his place. <laughs> <laughs> My congratulations, sister. Thank you. I'm so glad that I have you. I have always dreamt of having a sister. Me too. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, congratulations. Uh, thanks, man. So, the wedding is coming next, isn't it? Uh, hold on, the wedding is coming next after all of this, right? You thought you'd get off so easily? <laughs> easily? <laughs> Sorry, I've is selling Landish. The buyer is coming tomorrow. Oh no. What do we do now? Uh, what to do? We can't forget that we're gypsies. Wait do you see this horse. I've never seen a horse better than Landish. He's explosive. You'll see for yourself. Oleg, don't try so hard. Landish needs no additional advertising. I've seen him in action. That's good then. <clears throat> What the hell is this? Oleg, I swear, I came in first thing this morning, and instead of Landish, there was this shame of the stables. Who would do this? Zadid, I saw the videos from all the security cameras. I didn't see anything. It has to be the devil's work. Are you making a fool of me? Where's Landish? Mm. 